Hi, this is Asin. Today I would like to share the McLaughlin expression of ln sin x over x. First, we let the function be fx. So when we differentiate ln x, then my that we will obtain 1 over x, meaning to say we will obtain the reciprocal. So when we differentiate ln sin x over x, we will have the reciprocal x over sin x. Then by using chain rule and quotient rule, we continue to differentiate the inner part. So differentiate the inner part sin x over x, let u be sin x and v be x. So v du dx differentiate sin will obtain cos minus u dv dx equal to 1 so over v squared so x squared then we simplify we can see that we have x times x which is x squared so x squared over x squared no more so the first term left only cos x over sin x then for the second term sin over sin no more so x over x squared will obtain 1 over x so what we have to do here instead of continue to differentiate i will split this into two different functions then we form the macrolin series then we come back to this function so that the calculation is easier if not as we can see this function is considered complicated if we continue to differentiate then we will obtain a super complicated function so we just ignore this part at this moment so we split this one then we have so we let gx be sin x so we differentiate as usual so remember to find the value at the point x equal to 0 so when we differentiate psi, we obtain cos. So substitute again. Cos 0 is 1. Then we have cos. Differentiate cos is negative sine. Then the second derivative when x equal to 0 is 0. As we can see, cos function is actually the shift of sine function meaning to say we just have to differentiate one then we can derive the other so then we continue the third derivative negative differentiate sign we have cos negative one so the fourth derivative Differentiate cos is negative sign, negative, negative, positive. So again is zero. Then the fifth derivative cos. Then we have one. So as we can see, we already obtained three non zero terms. But then, to make sure that at the end we will still have three zero terms, we will have to differentiate more, so so that we will have extra one term. Just in case, because as you as we can see here, this term is not involved in the derivative, so we have to prepare extra one term so that when we come to any elimination, any subtraction, any addition, there will still be three non-zero terms so g6 differentiate cos is negative size so we have zero then the seven derivative negative cos so we have negative one now we can form the macrolin function so that we have gx is the function sine x. So by using McRowling expression, we take all the non-zero terms. We can actually skip the zero term. So for our first derivative, 
we have the value 1 over 1 factorial x to the power of 1. Then we plus the third derivative, which is negative 1. So negative 1 over 3 factorial x to the power of 3. Then we continue plus the fifth. So 1 over 5 factorial x to the power of 5. Then we plus 7 negative 1 over 7 factorial then x to the power of 7. We do some simplification or calculation here. We obtain x, so minus 1 over 3 factorial, which is 6, x cubed, then 5 factorial. So we can press calculator. 5 factorial, we obtain 120. How about 7 factorial? 5040. So we have 120 x to the power of 5 minus 1 over 5040 x to the power of 7. So we already done for sine function. Now we proceed to the cos function. We know that cos is just the shift of the function. So meaning to say this will be the original function and this will be the first derivative and so on so we have cos x is equal to so this is the original function the first derivative the second so this will be the fourth and this will be the sixth derivative then we just apply the McRowlin expression so we have one plus negative 1 over 2 factorial since it's the second derivative then we have plus 1 over 4 factorial x to the power of 4 then plus negative 1 over 6 factorial x to the power of 6 then we do some simplification 1 plus minus 1 over 2 x squared then plus 1 over 24x to the power of 4 then 6 factorial we will have 720 so plus should be minus 1 over 720x to the power of 6 so we obtain the two functions then we just apply the long division to obtain the McRowlin series of cos over sine so we have x minus 1 over 6x cubed plus 1 over 120x5 minus 1 over 5040x to the power of 4. So for the cost function, we have 1 minus 1 over 2x squared plus 1 over 24x power 4 minus 1 over 720 x to the power of 6 okay the rules of thumb for long division where the minus is always 0 for the first term in order to obtain 0 we should have 1 minus 1 in order to have 1 we should have 1 over x for the first term so 1 over x times x we have 1 so 1 over 1 minus 1 we get 0 then we continue negative 1 over 6x to the power of 2 then we have positive 1 over 120x to the power of 4 and minus 1 over 5040x to the power of 6 then we do some subtraction so what we have here negative 1 over 2 minus minus become plus 1 over 6 then we obtain negative 1 over 3 then we have 1 over 24 so we minus 1 over 120 so 1 over 30 Then the last one, 
negative 1 over 720 minus minus become plus so we have negative 840 so we continue so negative 1 over 3 since we what we want is x squared so it means that we just have to times x so the first term must be always equal to 0 so negative negative positive 1 over 3 times 1 over 6 1 over 18 x to the power of 4 then we have minus 1 over 360 x to the power of 5 actually we can ignore the remaining terms because what we want our intention just to obtain three non-zero terms as we can see here is 1 over x so 1 over x minus 1 over x is equal to 0 that's why at the beginning we need to prepare extra one term just in case that we have elimination okay so next we continue for the subtraction 1 over 30 we minus 1 over 18 We obtain negative 1 over 45. Okay, then we continue. Negative 1 over 840 minus minus become plus 1 over 360. So we have positive 1 over 630 x to the power of 6 okay so we continue then we should have minus 1 over 45 x to the power of 3 so 3 times 1 we obtain 4 and again this will be 0 so we have negative negative become positive 1 over 45 with times 1 over 6 1 over 270 so we plus 1 over 270 so it's 2 power of 6 okay then we do the subtraction then we obtain 1 over 630 we minus 1 over 270 we have negative 2 over 945 negative 2 over 945 x to the power of 6 so then we have negative 2 945 x to the power of after completed the long division we can form the map rolling series that we want over here so we have the first derivative of the function f is equal to cos over sine cos over sine in other words is 1 over x minus 1 over 3x minus 1 over 45x to the power of 3 minus 2 over 945x to the power of 5 then we can see that we have a minus 1 over x at the end so we evolve in the function as well minus 1 over x so we can actually simplify the function 1 over x minus 1 over x so we left only three non-zero terms to be more precise we can add the infinite series of terms at the end so we integrate both sides with respect to x then we will obtain the function f which is the function ln sine x over x and the integration of the series is actually the Maclaurin series of the ln sine x over x okay let's get this done so we have negative when we integrate negative 1 over 3x 
So remember, power plus 1 over power plus 1. So 1 over 3, power plus 1. So power plus 1 is 1 plus 1 equal to 2. So we over, means that dy, 2. So we obtain 1 over 6, x squared. Then again, we do the same thing. So 45, power plus 1, 3 plus 1 equal to 4. So times 4, we have 180. 1 over 180 x to the power of 4. Then the last term that we want here, 2 over 945. Then we divide 5 plus 1, which is 6. Then we obtain 1 over 2835. Minus 1 over 2835. So x to the power of 6. Then we're done. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.